What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you a really simple tool that will help you extract reviews of Amazon products. Before I continue, please hit the like button to support our channel and if you're into data extraction and process automation tutorials, make sure to follow our channel and click the subscribe button right now. Now extracting and analyzing Amazon reviews is a really helpful but tedious task and for tedious tasks like that I recommend using automation tools and this script or bot is going to help you achieve just that. Now to use the bot you will need to sign up on Botster and after you log in you can navigate to the tools for Amazon category or just look for the bot uh, using this search bar in the header of the website. Of course, don't forget to read the documentation to understand how the bot works in detail, but I'm going to skip that and click the start bot button to show you the process of launching the bot and extracting your data. Now, the first thing that you will need to do is give a name to your job that the bot will create for you. This step is optional, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's call it Amazon Review Scrape Demo. If I could spell it. And next you need to provide your list of ASINs for the products that you need to extract the reviews of. Now I found these two products on Amazon which I'm going to feed to the script and extract their reviews. So let's go ahead and copy the first link of the product and paste it into my text editor and zoom in on it. Now in case with Amazon the products ASIN always comes after that DP slash characters and it normally looks like a random string of capitalized characters. In this case it's this B08 and so on. So let's copy that and paste it into the text form of the bot right here. Let's clear this up, go to our second product, copy the URL, paste it into the text editor and copy the second ASIN from the text editor onto a new line right here. Now we need to tell the bot how many reviews we'd like to scrape. I'm gonna go with 50 per product and now let's scroll down. Now we're using the US based Amazon store by default but in case you're extracting data uh, from an international um, branch of it you can specify which domain uh, you need to use in this input form uh, right here. You can also specify the types and order of the reviews you would like to extract. For example, you can tell the bot whether you would like to see the new reviews extracted first or the helpful reviews extracted first. So I'm not going to change anything here. And finally, if you know what you're doing, you can also provide additional filters for the bot. For example, do some kind of advanced sorting and so on and so forth. Finally, you can set up your notifications. For example, once the bot completes the job, it can send you a notification and you can also attach the results to that notification email. Uh, of course, if you're using Slack or Telegram, you can use those uh, channels as well. And of course, for more complex automation sequences, you can use uh, the JSON post request feature or go even further and connect the job to Zapier and do something with the data as well. Now, I'm not going to do any of that. Looks like we're all set. So let's click the start this bot button and wait for the bot to launch. Now you can see that the bot um, created the job request and it is currently active. So all we have to do now is just wait for the bot to scrape the reviews. And in the meantime, don't forget to hit the like button if you've been enjoying this video so far. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Okay, as you can see, the job was completed and it took the bot about two minutes to extract the reviews for those two products. Let's hit the view data button and see what we have. You can see that the bot successfully collected the reviews, um, 100 of them to be exact. And the reviews come, of course, with all of the uh, data that's attached to them, which is title, uh, review text, 
date of the review, rating, username, um, helpful votes, verified purchases, and even links to the images. You can now download this table as an Excel, CSV, or a JSON file. You can click here to open it in your Google Sheets. And of course, if you would like to share this page, you can click here to change its privacy settings, copy this link and send it to whoever you need. This is basically it. If you have any questions left, make sure to drop them into the comment section below. Don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button. And of course, I'm going to see you in the next video.